Day Arklamis News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Haley Hines with your midday Arklamis update. Election officials have started to clean up their voter registrations of inactive voters. The Louisiana Secretary of State's office says it's not too late to check your status. They say they do not purge their voter registries. They conduct what they call voter list maintenance. The registration of voters who have not participated in two federal elections will be canceled. An inactive voter is a voter who's address verification more than likely needs to be resubmitted. Keep in mind, an inactive voter can still vote. The Deputy Secretary of State for Communications explains once at the polls that person just needs to show ID and proof of address to to the voting commissioner. Additionally, the same can be done at the state's govote.com website or registrar of voters office. And switching to local news, a local Boys and Girls Club received a major donation from a North Louisiana timber company. I visited the location for more information. The Boys and Girls Club of Dubok, Louisiana is feeling overjoyed after a recent $10,000 donation. We're screaming and shouting and we're celebrating and we're just so happy. The donation comes from the North Louisiana Timberlands Division of Warehouser. Each year, the company dedicates money to give back to organizations in the community. Chairman of the Warehouser Giving Fund Committee spoke about the donation. That's the best part of my job is it, uh, being serving on this committee uh, to give back funds to the communities that we live and work in uh, to help support the rural communities because the timber industry happens in our rural communities. And the people that live there and work there and go to school there are the ones that we want to turn around and support them also. The funds will be used to assist with staffing and purchasing supplies. The chief executive officer of the Boys and Girls Club spoke on how a donation of this size helps them better serve the community. Uh, we're striving to expand our services to serve kids in the more rural area. And Dubak is one of those areas. And for us to be able to go and give those kids in that particular community a Boys and Girls Club experience is a hope and a dream that we have. And this particular uh, grant award has helped make that possible. Damon Moreland grew up as a Boys and Girls Club kid and now serves as the site coordinator for the Dubak location. He says the children there have his heart and soul, and he even calls them his own. Being able to provide for my kids and give them opportunities that they wouldn't have otherwise means the world to me. Um, and giving them things that they, now that they, not that they need, but that they want, or things that they don't even know they want, um, and give them the experiences of a lifetime, I mean, you can't beat that. And that's what they have, through this donation, that's what they have allowed me to do. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are expecting plenty of sunshine across the entire Arklamas for this afternoon. Temperatures are only going to be keep heating up to the upper 70s and right there into the lower 80s. So quite pleasant if you've got any outdoor plans, but then keep in mind we do have very dry conditions and dry conditions ongoing in South Arkansas. So definitely keep in mind if you have anything uh, grilling or anything involving fire. Now later on tonight, we're still expecting to fall back to the lower 50s. Still could see a couple upper 40s in South Arkansas. So another cool night expected. So definitely got the jacket going out tonight or early tomorrow morning. Now we will still see temperatures warm back up to the lower 80s and kind of stay near seasonal as we close out the week, but then returning back up above average as we kind of continue this little roller coaster trend here with these temperatures. Uh, looking like we'll probably see dew points climb back up over the weekend, so that kind of help mitigate any type of fire threat. But until then, the winds stay northerly, and then we will see a return back to more seasonal by Columbus Day next Monday. But low 54 degrees for tonight. It's clear and quiet, but we're still staying cool. Tomorrow, we're going to be warming up lower 80s, staying nice though, and then above average as we head in the start of the weekend. Now lows will continue mainly in the mid 50s, so plenty of cool nights expected, even as daytime highs are above average. And then next week we'll be trending a tad cooler back to lower 80s with a dry front arriving on Columbus Day Monday, and we'll tr uh, slowly cool down later next week. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline.